Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Allen, Nathan Smith, Desmond, Braden, and Mr. Murphy on the site today. Uh, it is the Frontier Redhawks, the one seed, versus the Ram, uh, the Southwick Rams, which they are the four seed. Run quickly through the starting lineup for the Rams first. You have Maya Bray Motley for defense, Gabby Sme Smigo forward, Milo Alfane Bono forward, uh, Alyssa Jacob midfielder, Emma Pomeroy Palmer forward, Angelic Bovat midfielder, Isri Johnston goalkeeper for the Rams, Riley Westcott a midfielder, Marissa Covillo midfielder, Paisley Sewers, defense, Danny Glenn, uh, forward for the Rams. So that's the starting lineup for the Southwick Rams. Uh, coaches and talking to the referees with their captains. And for the Frontier lineup, the Red Hawks, we got Ashley Taylor, Rebecca Wallace-West, Macy DeMio, Madison McKimmy, Lila Roach, Harper Modesto, Haley Hadowski, Claire Kirkendall, Abby G Grover, Delaney Fifield, and the goalkeeper for the Hawks, Ella Flanders. They're coached by Missy Mahar, Leslie Wickline, and Rose uh, Lavazier. And uh, the Rams are coached, head coached by Sydney Liptock. So, Mason, it, uh, it's going to be a good game today. Red Hawks, obviously, they are dominant as the one seed in this Western Mass uh, playoff game. Mm -hmm. And we will be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alvin, Mason Smith, Desmond, Braden, Kevin Murphy on site today as we take on this playoff field hockey match. Uh, it, it, The Rams taking control, trying to go down the sideline and intercepted by the Hawks. Now they going down the sideline. I think that's Rebecca Wallace West. And it looks like it went out of bounds. Um, maybe a foot. You have Madison McKimmy. Uh, now Lila Roach on the attack, trying to get in the sphere. Half sphere, semicircle. That looked like a foot there. Yep. Oh, and it will be a not a penalty, but corner. A corner. Yeah. I think. Corner. Uh, Ashley Taylor taking the corner. Get. They're gonna call that one back. The referee said, "Got to be further back or something." Maybe she stepped over the line. Yeah, some, something like that. Yeah. So Taylor would take it again. Again, I think it's four players in the start in the goalie box, basically. And Taylor on that last one was looking for Lila Roach. Roach lets it go out of the circle. Takes a nice pass. And the Rams' defense is right there. Getting it out of there is... Can't tell with that. Uh, Marissa Covillo. Covillo? Covillo. Go with that. Uh, Harper Modesto takes it inbounds. And foot. Uh, maybe a foot. Most likely. Marissa taking the, the stick there. Lila Roach takes control for the Red Hawks. She's moving down the sideline. And that'll be a foot. Lila Roach takes it again. Doing a good job moving it. And a shot on goal. Corner. Again, Taylor will be taking the corner for the Hawks. I think. Yep. Ashley Taylor on the other this the other side this time. Gotta get out of the semicircle. They do. Trying to get it to uh, Claire Kirkendall. 
Frontier, it'll be Harper Modesto. Over to Lila Roach, takes a nice pass. And Lila Ro Roach takes control, trying to get it in. Pass, nice pass. I think the goalie jumped on that one. What are your thoughts so far, Mason? Well, this is definitely a lot more fast-paced than the last game uh, that Frontier had, which was on the uh, football field. Yep. And that's definitely because of the grass here. Yeah. Grass is a lot shorter. They can move the ball a lot you, much more you, with more ease. And you can see where the baseball field, where the, it has the higher grass. They cut it. They oh, probably yeah. have to cut this a lot. Yeah. Um, and the rain makes it look nice, so the field's in perfect condition. Um, oh, it really is. <laughs> gotta, gotta respect the, the grass. <laughs> Whoever mows the lawn does a phenomenal job. Oh, yeah, they definitely do. You gotta have a lot of respect for people who mow lawns, Mason. <laughs> uh, Are you a lawnmower yourself, oh, yeah. Tom? Dude, we got a big, we got a zero turn for my dad's, <laughs> and we got a big zero turn for my mom, so. Love mowing the lawn. Nothing like it. It's like skiing. Well, we can see even already, we're not even a couple minutes into this game, but you can see the difference in the pace. We've already have like an actual shot on goal where the goalies had to stop it. And we had very few of those in the last game from Frontier, which ended in a 0-0 tie. And LF, the thing is, is Frontier, most of, what I've been seeing a lot uh, with most of the sports, especially soccer, as well is there's a lot of back and forth but frontier does a great job of keeping it on the other side of the court and gives their mm -hmm. uh their players an opportunity and now of course when i say this southwick <laughs> has to take it from out of bounds and that um but frontier plays a very aggressive game in any sports and that has to do with coaching and upperclassmen and teaching their younger classmen so yeah Again, right, Sou Tom. southwick just trying to go down that sideline now um can't tell. I think it's uh, Marissa Covilio, and now Rebecca Wallace West doing a great job moving to the sideline. She keeps going. Great job by her, keeping control of that ball. And yeah. ref called something. And they, now it will be uh, Madison McKimmy. Oh, nice move! Dangled one player and. Now Frontier with a chance here. And I think it was a hack or something. Uh, Marissa Covilio. And again, Frontier's got to back off. She sends it downfield to uh, Gabby Schmiegel. And then uh, Angela Bovat. Bovat trying to get down the field. Runs into some Frontier midfielders. And Harper Modesto there. She's gonna doing a great job moving down that sideline. And trying to it'll be out. Good job from her. And she will send it in bounds. By the roach taking control. She's at the top of the semicircle. She's got the speed. And in the box somewhere. I've lost the ball. There we go. It's south. South, nice shot, blocked. Corner. Oh, wow. <coughs> Lila Roach is making things happen out there. Yeah, I remember when uh, her brother Aiden was in my class, and he's pretty good at hockey. Um, and I know she's good at, she plays ice hockey as well, so. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And look at that. So she sent it out wide. One player looked like she was going to take it. And then um, it was Claire Kirkendall that ended up t trying to take that shot or pass to somebody else. So, um, it will be Paisley. Let me make sure I have it. Sewers. Sewers. That's, that's 27. Um, Kind of helps myself. Uh, 
chased the whole freaking thing. <laughs> Mason, who's 19 on the Hawks? 19 for Frontier? Yep. Frontier, that's Stella Heflin. Okay, Stella Heflin. Yeah. I'll give you a recommendation. Okay, Frontier on the attack. Again, Lila Roach. She gets in the semicircle, goes back out. She makes a pass over to Harper. That was a nice There's pass right there. And now south way. Oh, no. Good job by Harper trying to. And it'll be uh, Frontier. Uh, not front. Southwick. Uh, Marissa Covilio. She's going to take control of the ball. And now right there uh, was Ashley Taylor trying to fight for that ball. Go out of bounds. Or, oh. um, Abby Grover over to Harper Modesto. Modesto bring it down the sideline. Good job using that uh, sideline to her advantage there. Over to Taylor. Taylor trying to get it and keeps it inbounds. Takes a pass and... Whew. It must have hit somebody's foot, or it was a corner, or something, or a hack. Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, Frontier's corner. It will be again. It will be Ashley Taylor taking the corner for the Hawks. This is their second or third corner of the game. I think it's at least their third, maybe fourth even. Yeah. Lyle Roach takes a pass from someone and takes a nice shot and goes out of bounds. Yeah, it goes out of bounds. Rams ball. Nope, Frontier's ball. So Lila Roach will take it from, uh, not sure what you call that line, but <laughs> speedy around. <laughs> speeding around. Gets it to Taylor. Taylor trying to get it into one of her teammates and Southwick. Well, something that you can clearly see so far in this game is that Frontier is dominating in terms of possession of the ball. And even when Southwick does have the ball, Frontier's just pushing them and pushing them and keeping them in, on their own side of the field. Southwick's really having a lot of trouble getting it even into remote sc score. Ugh. <laughs> scoring territory right now. But they're trying right now. They've got the ball on the whatever it is line. But Frontier's going to get it back. That's McKemmy. Passes it to Wallace. It's going to get taken back by Southwick. And it goes out of bounds. It's going to stay Southwick's ball. Pass in. Got a whistle, and it's going to stay Southwick's. They pass it up, but Lila Roach is going to intercept it. Gets it around a defender. She's going to take it up the sideline. Southwick gets the ball. Abby Grover, being very aggressive, gets the ball back. Weaves in between two defenders. Nice movement there. Ball gets hopped up. Popped up. And there's going to be a corner for Frontier. They're fifth, I'd say. So Taylor with the pass in to Roach. Whistle blown. Yep, another corner for Frontier. So four players plus the goalie start starting in the goal for Southwick. They're gonna run out after the pass. Roach trying to get a handle on the ball. 
Passes it by the sideline and it's out of bounds. So it's going to be Southwick's ball. They're going to run it up to the edge of the circle. Wallace West is there. She's going to intercept the ball. Makes a move around the defenders. Shot on goal and it's in. First goal of the game for Frontier and it's from Captain Rebecca Wallace West. Yeah, that was an excellent... She kind of a, made a great steal on that ball, Mason. And um, just excellent job. Her moving down that sideline, sticking with it. Oh, yeah. Getting to the goal and taking that shot, taking, making uh, Frontier take a one to nothing lead. As I've just finished my burrito. So. Um. She was right there on top of the ball, too. She knew it was going to go there. Do they do halves or quarters in this, Mason? I believe it's quarters, although they, I'm not sure. I knew they used to do halves, and then COVID, they made it quarters. So I don't know if they stuck with quarters. Miss Chapley would know. Yeah, Miss Chapley would know. Now all of a sudden Southwick on the attack, Mason. Yeah. Just as I was saying earlier, they haven't gotten into Frontier's territory really. Here they are. Yeah, and look at that. The defense does a great job of clearing it. But Rebecca so, Wallace West again. And this is Marissa Covilio. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. On the attack, putting her team in position to try to score. Uh, fighting for the ball there is Gabby Smigil, I think. Pronouncing that complete. I'm butchering these names, but that's okay. <laughs> we do it all the time. Mm. Looks like there's a sub in. Um, one thing that's interesting is Frontier, they have a deep bench. Southwick, they have three three subs. So you got to just. No. You gotta have, almost have to have somebody that can go anywhere, but they have a defense, midfielder, and forwards, so you have to switch your. You have to be conservative. Yeah, you do. With your energy. Whereas Frontier, they don't really have to because they have so much so much longer of a bench. Yeah, and that's, in sports overall, that's one of the reasons why Frontier can be so dominant as a school in, like, the division that they're put in. Because they just have so many people that join the sports teams, and they always seem to have, you know, yeah. a large amount of people on the bench that are available for <laughs> subbing. When we think about Frontiers, they have JV teams, yeah. uh, sometimes middle school teams too. So that's going to be the end of quarter one. Frontier on top from that goal from Rebecca, Wall uh, Rebecca Wallace West and kind of go towards the more of the end of it. And Southwick and Missy Mahar, or uh, Southwick's coach, Sydney Liptock and Missy Mahar are going to have to talk to their team give a game plan for that second quarter action. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Desmond, Mr. Murphy, whole FCAT crew. Uh, Frontier. Winning one to nothing after that first quarter, Mason. Um, so I wonder what Southwick will do differently uh, in this second quarter of action. And look well, at that. They're already being more aggressive. And the, the one thing that I noticed was almost any sport is there's not just one player. I mean, you could have a superstar, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. But... You can't win it without playing a team player. Everyone has to play their part. Yeah. That's very true. And just like that, you know, you have one steal and could be going the other way. Uh, Hiliadowski there trying to fight with uh, Denny, Denny Glenn. They're going back and forth up the far sideline. That's what's happening right now.
I think uh, Southwick they have a they have a guy out there, Danny, Danny Glenn, number fifty five. Number fifty five. Could be wrong. Fifty five. Oh yeah, I see him. Could be totally wrong. Though. Um, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, that's one thing I noticed. Um, I saw an article about these three guys that did field hockey uh, for a school, and they, you know, won championships. But I think it's almost a little cheesy. I don't know. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess you know, if there's not a men's team for field hockey, I get yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's that's one thing. There's not. I, I mean, well, there's not really an interest in it. It seems so. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean. I should have done field hockey instead of cross country, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> instead of running all, running everywhere. Nah, yeah. I, I mean, it's interesting you bring that up because you have, you know, typically like female dominated sports like field hockey. And then on the other side of the spectrum, there's football where you have like, you know, on Frontier, you have like one or two, you know, yeah, and, female players. And, and, and I know Frontier, they've had a couple players over the years. Um, like I know Delaney Fightfield, when I did a middle yeah. school game, she scored a, one of the first touchdowns ever as a gr you know girl in Western Mass. Yeah, I remember when she used to play. And then to bring bring something else up is that um, I think just recently it was the first girl to ever record a uh, for Frontier and West uh, Massachusetts, the state. Uh, yeah, scored a touchdown, and it was it was a girl. I think so that's. That's awesome. Yeah, you know? that was uh, uh, India Lewis, she, uh, first uh, black girl, I think it was. That was, I remember that. That was, I think that was on senior night, actually. Yeah. Uh, was it at Belchertown, or was the, uh, where was it? I think it was here during a Frontier senior night. Yeah, I, I don't think I was, I, I probably was out sick then. <laughs> um, but I'm better now, negative. Um, back to the game, Hilyowski going trying to go down the sideline for Frontier. Got a little off topic there, Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch ourselves. Mesa DeMio. I think she had older other brother and other. I don't know. I don't know. I, well, I don't there's know. Kate DeMio. I know Kate. Oh, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I've been out out a loop, year and a half, two years almost. Now Frontier in the attack. Uh, Stella Heflin, that's n she's still going down the sideline, using that sideline to her advantage. And it will be Covil for Southwick. Covilio? I don't know. Nice play by Heflin there. And and Frontier is still doing a good good job, and they're listening to their coach Missy. Um, of what to do. And then, there you go, you got Lila, she takes control, sticks with it, and I think that's uh, Claire Kirkendall there. Now, it'll be called back by the referee, Lila Roach. I bet she's a captain for the Hawks. Yes, she is. Her and uh, Rebecca Wallace-West. There you go. Hey, Ashley Taylor trying to get it to Rebecca. Rebecca, almost, and they get a corner out of it. So, as Miss Chapley said, would say, it was like every corner is a goal. Uh, yes. So, Taylor will take the corner for the Red Hawks. You know, I I saw uh, a sweatshirt with that saying on it the other day. At Frontier. Yeah. Nice, nice. Some Frontier merch or. College merch? <laughs> Something like that. It, I mean, it was a field hockey shirt. I know that. <laughs> I think it's Madison McKimmy taking control there. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Ow. She gets right up, so. A little tumble there. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but for her getting back up and yeah. Suarez uh, holding her neck for Southwick. Yeah. Um Mass McKimmy moving down the sideline now. Pass it up to Stella Heflin. Heflin. 
trying to pass. Lila Roach ends up with it. Lila takes a pass over to Taylor. Taylor trying to take a shot. And it will be uh, another corner. Um, as it was kind of, I'm not sure what happened, but maybe a foot or... Yeah, the ball shot up in the air, so... Yeah, but I, uh, it went off of uh, Maya Bray Motley uh, for the Southwick. Taylor with another corner here. Passes it out to Claire Kirkendall. Claire's going to take a swing at it. Nice shot by Claire. Still in there, goes out of bounds. That was a powerful shot right there. Jeez. It will be Paisley... <laughs> Suarez, Suarez, I Suarez, think. Suarez, thank you. Oh, kind of a missed shot, and it goes to Heflin over to Walls West, and that was a pretty little chip shot right there. Yeah, now Southwick's going to have to take it up the field now. I think it's, not sure who that is. 18. Taylor Hedges. There you go. This is what I've got. <laughs> yep, yep, that's right. Hadowski trying to go down the sideline. Goes out of bounds. And out of bounds. What are you, in basketball, you call that a throw. And in field hockey, I don't know what you call that. I don't either. Chapley would know. <laughs> you know what the parents would know. Rebecca Wallace West. On the attack. What do you call it when they pass it in out of bounds? Is it like, because it's a throwing in soccer, is it like? Frontier is still on the attack. What do you call it when they uh, pass it in from out, out of bounds? Uh, insert. insert. Okay. Interesting. So it's good. It's, thank you, Mason. Well, you learn something new every day, Tom. Yeah. It's called an insert, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Harper Modesto on the ball. And sh she's still going to have it. <laughs> Forces a corner. Good job at Modesto. Um, it looks like Lila Roach will be taking the corner for the Red Hawks this time. Roach passes it out to McKimmy. McKimmy runs into a defenseman. Great defense there by Alyssa Jacob on Southwick. Southwick with the insert. That was uh, Alyssa Jacob. Taylor trying to get down the sideline. And picking up there was Abby Glover. Taylor now with it. The one thing I find interesting about field hockey is you can't um, use your, the other side of your stick. Whereas, like, hockey, yeah. you, you, you totally can. You know, in field hockey, you only can use that one side. Yeah, so that is a very interesting aspect. Good job by Glover keeping it in bounds. Now Harper Manesto. Over to Taylor. Ashley Taylor moving down the sideline. Nice move quick. there. She's trying to get a pass off. Good defense by Alyssa Jacob. And Southwick now on the attack. And Claire Kurgendall now moving up the field for the Hawks. Ooh. Harper Modesto is going to take that as it kind of deflected off someone's stick. Taylor's. Arm or shoulder. Ooh. Whoa. High stick. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. That was, it was, that, yeah. That was, that was Claire Kirkenall there keeping it in the Oh, air. nice pass by Southwick. Harper Nesto moving down the sideline looking for an opportunity. Pass it up to Taylor. Taylor on the attack. Now, Taylor. Uh, it's always... 
Harper Modesto, and insert for the Red Hawks. Again, Modesto will pass it in. Gets it to Rebecca, captain for the Red Hawks and senior. Not, I can't tell who the number is there. That is Maya Bray Motley. Um, she did a good job of forcing it out of bounds to the sideline. Modesto's going to insert it and goes to Lila Roach. Lila Roach moving it to the top of the key almost. Takes a shot. Ooh. Oh, great shot by Lila Roach just a little wide to the right. we got to be get, getting close to that um, to halftime. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any extra time or anything. No, there isn't. That's Ly why there's so many ties. Yeah. Ly Ly well, there won't be a tie because it's playoffs today. Yeah. Um, it goes overtime. There's Frontier with the attack. As Ly they just got to get oh in there. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, and another corner. As on that play, Lila Roach intercepted the pass to one of the Southwick players and got it into the box pretty much. It's very close to going in, but just a swarm of Southwick and the Rams and the Hawks, you could say. Now moving to down the sideline, there is Marissa Covilio. Harper Nesto will take control. I'm not sure what the call was there. Gets it over to Taylor. Taylor trying to get it to Rebecca. Another, nope, not a corner. Uh, Probably a foot, I think. That's what it looked like. It will be... Nice awareness Pace. by Taylor. Modesto doing a good job of keeping there, and Southwick gets good defense. So, another foot or hack thing. Maya Bray Motley gets it over to Osa Jacob. And now Taylor takes control. Now Maya Bray Motley with it. Set to one of the Rams, and again, Bray Motley will pass it over as they're just trying to get it to um, Marissa. And it goes out of bounds. Harper Roach <laughs> Roach takes that one. <laughs> He's kind of swooped in there and was like, "That one's mine." Nice pass. Nobody, oh. nobody there to. Somebody just gotta be ready almost. Good job by Lila Roach. That uh, was a beautiful pass right through the middle. It went through everybody. It was, yeah. was kind of funny. <laughs> um, that happens a lot. I, I saw that last night, too, with soccer. We had that double header. Oh, yeah. Lila Roach over to Rebecca Wild West. Captain to captain. Yeah. And, and another corner. And Lila Roach is going to take this corner for the Hawks. I don't think that Southwick has had a single corner in this game. I, I think you're right. And the problem is this Frontier, again, that, like we said earlier, is they're, they're just being aggressive. Yeah. Ella Flanders, it, who's in goal for Frontier, just having a <laughs> grand old yeah. time standing there. <laughs> That's nice. Your goalkeeper just gets to yeah. watch your players. Get a day them. off. Pretty much, yeah. And there you go, halftime. This frontier was about to almost score, so. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll have an opportunity. So, after the first 30 minutes of play, uh, Frontier leading one to nothing in this uh, Western Mass playoff game um, against Frontier Red Hawks and the Rams. Southwick versus, yeah, four seed and Frontier one seed. Uh, well, there, we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Uh, we're back with this second half of Western Mass semifinal matchup. 
Frontier Redhawks against the Southwick Rams. We're already off to a fast-paced start. Frontier with the ball right now. Lila Roach passes it to Harper Modesto. Taylor up the sideline now. Frontier already in scoring position. They're in the semicircle right now. Yeah, Mason, Frontier doing an excellent job on the attack right now. And yeah, right off from the bat, Tom. I mean, my goodness. That's what they do. <laughs> Any sport, just be aggressive, and that's what you got to do. And another corner is what they've called. Taylor is going to take it again for Frontier. There's the pass in. Roach gets it. Pass to the middle, right in front of the goal. Whistle's blown. It's going to be Southwick's ball. Coviello will take it for Southwick, and she'll pass it out of bounds. So Frontier gets it. Already pretty deep in Southwick's territory. Yeah, Wallace West on the attack there, captain for the... Red Hawks. <laughs> Already got one goal to her name. Yeah, she has the lone goal this game. Yeah. Another corner, Alec. Or uh, Alec. Mason. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just shit. <laughs> You're Alec. Pass gets by Roach, but she's going to pass it to Kirkendall. I believe that's Kirkendall. Yeah. So that's right, folks. It's one nothing Frontier at the start of the second half here. Uh, and Rebecca Wallace-West, who is a senior and one of the captains for Frontier, got the goal back in the first half. Yeah, and that the other senior for Frontier is Isla Roach and the captain as well. I know there's other seniors as well on the team, but those yeah, are the two captains. So. Um, the other captain... Uh, for Southwick, their 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 captain is the one that's starred. I don't know if you yes, uh, Marissa Coviello. That's number twenty six. Who actually was fighting for the ball right now? So she's been able to get a few things done for Southwick when they've needed it, and the pressure's been on throughout this game. But right now we've got another corner for Frontier, which just is the trend of the game, it seems. Pass in from Taylor Kirkendall. Shot on goal. Gets blocked by the goalie. Wow. Right off the foot pad. There's another shot on goal. And it goes out of bounds off the goalie's foot. Pass up by Southwick. To Danny Glenn, and it's going to stay Southwick's after a whistle, probably a foot or a hack, I'd assume. Um, oh, nice little move there, but. Gets waved back for some reason. <laughs> and that's Coviello with the ball right now. Trying to drive it up for Southwick. But Frontier's going to get it back. And if we've seen any kind of pattern in this game, Southwick isn't going to get another chance for a little while. Unless they can do something right now. But there's Rebecca Wallace-West with the ball. Nice pass up to Taylor by a defender. Wallace West with it again. Shot on goal. Gets knocked out of bounds. Yeah, from and Frontier's <coughs> ball. Yeah. That's Isla Roach for the Hawks. 
passes it in to Rebecca. Doesn't get a shot off. And that's Taylor in the corner, I think. No, Modesto. That was Modesto in the corner fighting for it. And it's going to be Southwick's ball. And Taylor Hedges is going to take it, try and pass it out. I lost the ball. <laughs> but there's Modesto, passes it up to Rebecca, gets it into the circle, oh. and she's going to get knocked down, tripped up a little bit. She gets back up, though. And Frontier's going to have it in the corner, passes it in. Whistle blown. I think it's going to be another corner for the Hawks. Yeah. Lyle the Roach will take it. There's the pass in. Ooh, wow. Ooh that's a little dangerous. Uh, uh, that amazing. was. I almost called you Alec again. Who passed that in? That was uh, Haley Hakowski, no, no, who got no. the pass from Lila, Ra Lila Roach. And then Ashley Taylor scooped it up right as it was going towards the goal, and it went uh, wide to the side end up in the air and that was quite a big swing too in an area with a lot of crowded people there's, there's Halle Hadowski now over to Rebecca Wallace West and Frontier just doing an excellent job keeping it again on their uh, not giving Southwick a chance to um, really even get a, over to Ella and have some action over there so yeah oh, you know even if they aren't scoring another goal which you know of course they would prefer they're getting these opportunities with the corners and they just keep pushing Southwick they keep pushing and they keep tiring them out so there's Claire Kirkendall in the corner for Frontier whistles blown gonna be another corner they, uh, Ashley. Taylor will take it yeah, yeah Ashley Taylor from the other side oh yeah, and she's like Frontier's big pitcher. I think she's a junior oh, now. I'm not too sure, but. I no, she's a sophomore. sophomore. She's in my grade, actually. Oh. Shot on goal there. Gets stopped by Southwick's goalie. Roach has it now. Takes it around. Nice move there. Wow. My God. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be a, ooh, a little. Again, that one will be a little dangerous. It's too high because if it gets to their faces, you know. Yeah, that was a shame, though. Macy DeMeo put her stick up to try and deflect it, and it looked like it was going to go right over the goalie's head. But, oh my goodness, that was a <laughs> nasty move by Roach. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why she's a captain out there for the Red Hawks. That looks like something you'd see in, like, a football highlight. <laughs> yeah. Frontier taking shots Ooh. on goal. And there it's going to go in. Yeah, the, and there was like a behind-the-back move by, I think it was Haley Adowski, to get the pass off. And I'm not exactly too... I believe it was Haley Adowski. And you got some subs in, coming on the field, Mason. It's 18, tw uh, 23, and 19. And So that 23, Rowan Riley. 18 is Ashley Galinsky. And uh, 19... That's Stella Heflin. Rebecca Wallace West, number one, came off. And that's Macy DeMeo, number one. And then I'm not sure who the other number was. I want to say 10 for some reason. Could have been. Ma oh, no, 10. That's McKemmy. She's right there. Danny Glein for Southwick. He has the ball right now. Takes a little tumble. And Cavellio is going to pass it up for Southwick. But it's going to go back to Frontier, who's going to hammer it down the field. Southwick's going to try and bring it back. Cavellio along the sideline. 
They're going to keep the ball after the whistle, though. So that's good news for them. And a foot, I believe. Uh, and guess. that's that's 23. Rowan Riley. She gets sent off. I don't know. I think it's like almost a penalty. Uh, I don't think. Oh, yeah. It's like a penalty box kind of thing. Yeah, you get sent to the sin bin. <laughs> for a minute or two, so Frontier is down a player right now. Yeah, 11 on 10. That uh, Southwick's got to take advantage of this, especially when Frontier's leading two, 2 to nothing. Oh, yeah. But Frontier's going to get the ball off of a uh, penalty call. Cavellio gets the ball off a little steal. Going up the side. Penalty called. It's going to stay Southwick's ball. Rams are going to try and make something happen when they have this advantage. And the, South, the Rams got to do something here. And I know Lyle Roach is right there. And McKimmy, she takes advantage of the... The loose ball. There's Cavellio. <coughs> Seems to be the player that whose name we're saying the most on Southwick. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> You're totally right. And she's the, the captain for him, right? Yes, she is the captain. I mean that shows why, no doubt. Yeah, good good leadership, good skill and she's just all over the field. Nice pass up by Frontier. Ooh. But it's going to be Southwick's ball. Frontier still down one player. It must be like a five minute penalty or something. Or three minute, I don't know. I think, and I, I could be very wrong, but something I may recall Ms. Chapley saying is it like goes up depending on like minor versus major infraction yeah 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 that's like ho ice hockey you get the mi you can get a minor penalty yeah. which is two minutes and a major is like five minutes I'm pretty and sure. here's Rowan Riley back in so now Southwick's player advantage is gone and with it let's see if they can try and keep it in Frontier's end despite the numbers. Rams pushing it up on the near side. Fighting for it. Whistle's blown. They're going to lose it on the whistle. Hadowski takes it. Shoots it forward down the field. Rebecca Wallace West is back in the game. Good. That's that is a good thing because you want your captains out there. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, definitely. I think Roach is still out there, so both captains back on the field. That's good news for Frontier. Well, the Roach, there you go. She's going to take control of the ball here, and the other ref calling something. No, oh, she's got to bring it back. She started too far up, I think. And Ashley Galinsky just subbed out for Ashley Taylor. Now Rebecca Wallace-West trying to bring it up the field. She's going to get stopped on a whistle, but Lila Roach is going to take the ball for Frontier. Pass up to Harper Modesto, to Wallace West in the circle. Kicked out by the goalie, and Modesto gets it in the corner. Far corner, Modesto bringing it in. And the whistle's going to give it back to Southwick.
Yeah, Southwick, honestly, they, they, they play a, have been playing a lot better, but Frontier not letting up on that uh, that offense, uh, Mason. No, they aren't. No, they aren't, Tom. And there's Taylor in the circle again. Come on, Southwick! And another corner for him. Yeah. And what I'm wondering, Tom. Oh, there you go. Oh. So uh, after this, is, this is the last play. After the corner, the we'll go to the fourth quarter. Pass into Roach. Gets it close to the goal, and it's going to get there cleared out of the circle by Southwick. All right. So Frontier got another goal. In this quarter, scores 2 nothing Frontier. Southwick Rams still have zero. And we will be right back after a short break for the final quarter in this Western Mass semifinal. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Desmond, Mr. Murphy, rest of the FCAT crew. Uh, tonight's game, it is, again, Southwick, they're the four seed, uh, and Frontier, they're the first seed. And it's, uh, I think it's semi or quarterfinal. I'm not too sure exactly. Semifinals, I think. Semifinal. That's what Missy told me. <laughs> there you go. Then it is the semifinal. And... Um, you know, Frontier, they're winning 2 to nothing on this lead. And you never want to count a team out, uh, no matter what. So yeah. you never know what can, can happen, in the la especially this last 15 minutes. I think it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of aggressive offense, especially from Southwick. And you're going to have to see a lot of running. But Frontier's got strong defense and offense, like we've seen all game. And here goes Lila Roach down the sideline again. She gets it over to Ashley Taylor. Stopped by a defender. That was Cavilio, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Madison McKimmy. Trying to get it in. And... Uh, maybe a, not a corner, but... What's that oh. called? What's that called in, in soccer? Well, they, that's what they... That's what they call a corner. Uh, when no. it goes out on the baseline, then you take it to like the very corner of yeah, the field. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. But, but like a free kick, you know, when when there's like yeah, a free kick. But like, what would you call it? I feel like he's the question. I don't know. Yeah, we'll call, we'll call it a free kick for now. So a free a free hit. I don't know. Maybe something like that. It sounds free like kick. a like a boxing term. Yeah, like you get a free hit in your opponent or something. That would suck. <laughs> Right to the kisser, <laughs> yeah. Boom. Oh, back on, back on. Wa Rebecca Wallace West gets it in the box. Oh, bunch of it's around again. Oh, oh I thought that was in. Good job, Southwest. It's it's like bees almost. Everybody just swarms onto the ball when it gets close to the close to the box. Yeah. Everyone wants that honey. <laughs> I don't oh, know. it's a corner again for Frontier. Uh, and. Is it number five? Yeah. That's what is that? And Ladowski up there oh. now. Who's who's number five? Do you know? Oh, that's Lila Roach. Oh, oh. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, who's number five, man? Um, <laughs> great save by the goalkeeper. Uh, Ezri Johnston, as she's played pretty well, especially when front Frontier's been very aggressive this game. Um, my Bray Motley, now going down the sideline or trying to, was one of the Frontier players, uh, Covilio. Um, Southwick, something was called. Re Rebecca doing a great job of stealing that ball. Oh, wow. Gets it over to Taylor. Ashley Taylor. Trying to go push it over to the sideline and then get a pass in. And, ooh. 
It's almost like a side tackle almost. A little, yeah. a little slip. <laughs> Taylor now. And now it's right there. Goal for the Hawks. I I think that that's num number one, that might have actually gone to, it was either one or Rebecca again because I, I saw her, I saw it like tip off of her stick and shoot up. So, yeah, either Macy DeMio or Rebecca Wallace-West. Um, I'm not sure who scored that second goal. It was just, again, the, the bee swarm on the, on the goal. Or you could say, what, hawk swarming the, swarming the, other, <laughs> the, the other person's nest almost, you could say. Uh, so three to nothing, Red Ox with the lead. And Cavilio intercepted is Abby Glover and across something. Cavillo doing a good job. Gets by Haley Dowski and now just trying to, Lila Roach there, of course, to to pick it up. She's trying to move down the sideline. And now Cavillo takes it back. Gets it in. Here you go. Wait. Not a corner, but like a free Cavillo just gets it out to one of her players. This is Jacob. Alyssa Jacob. And Frontier, I'm not too sure exactly what happened. Hadowski, intercepted by Cavilio. That was impressive. And McKimmy trying to get to it. Now Macy DeMio. DeMio. Or DeMio. I don't know. What is it? DeMio, I think. DeMio. 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 Yeah. Number, uh, Harper Modesto going down the sideline now. Gets by, gets by a um, <coughs> defender, but I think it was a hack. So Modesto will, will take that. Gets it over to Bre Rebecca Wallace West. Rebecca now trying to go over to push to the corner sideline. Runs into a defender, and Harper Modesto takes control of it. Goes out of bounds. Rams ball. So again, three to nothing. Goose egg on the board. Um, shut out. Almost. I mean, I I don't think Flanders has seen much action. No, I don't think that she has. I think that that uh, free hit, if that's what we're calling it, that happened about a minute ago now was the closest that on, Southwick has really come to much of anything. <laughs> Taylor using their softball skills throwing it over there. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I will notice is, oh, another goal there. Oh my goodness! Who was that by Mason? I, I, Rebecca again, maybe. I, th I'm pretty sure. So, if you know, if you, she got the first one, maybe if she got the third one, and if she got that one too, that's a hat trick right there. So that is, <laughs> wow. My God. A hat trick for the captain on in this Western Mass semifinal. That is quite something, Tom. It, if if we're right, we could be completely if we're right. right. If we could, we could. That's <laughs> all of the. Don't that. quote us here, folks. <laughs> but playing aggressive there, though. Rebecca. Yellow card. Oh, penalty. So they'll send off uh, Alyssa Jacob because she's got to be five five yards away from. Uh, when Rebecca take the ball or whatever. Abby Glover going to take the free kick. Good job. Gets it to Rebecca. Rebecca now on the run. Runs into a defender. Not sure. Lila Roach takes control. Speedy Gonzalez over there. <laughs> takes another shot. Someone takes a shot. And oh. oh. She's just out of their reach at the end. That, and I will say this though, again, uh, three Southwick not have the biggest team 
and they are playing pretty well though. I mean, again, yeah, we're in the they are. We're, we're in the the, the 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 fourth quarter, and um, Frontier just aggressive all game. So. Oh yeah, they just don't seem to get tired, Tom. I mean, and and uh, whenever they, I know, they do one or two warm up laps of the big field every time before practice. So, you know, gotta condition your players. Yeah. To be able to run for 60 minutes, 60 Definitely. plus minutes. And, I mean, something that I always think about when I'm watching any of these, like, playoff games for any sports, when we get to around, you know, this is, the, like, the semifinals, the fact that Southwick got here Southwick! means that they are a great team. Yes. You know, and they had, you know, an incredible season. And they aren't performing well in this game simply because, you know, Frontier is the better team and they're you know, playing a lot better yeah. than they are right now. And, and there's a reason Frontier is the one seed, and, and they always Frontier always seems to make it far in the playoffs. Um, yeah. And you got a kudos to, to Missy Maher. She's, she's a great coach, so. Yeah, she is. She really is. And gym teacher for that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another corner for Taylor. Frontier, yep. yeah. Ashley Taylor's going to take the corner for the Hawks. Once again, she's taken a lot of those today, and there's been a ton for them. Not too many on Southwick's part, uh, just because Frontier's just doing a great job of keeping in Southwick's half. It goes a lot of the roach. Back to Taylor. Taylor takes a swing at it. Get it in the box. It's another shot, and the ref calls something. <laughs> That's pretty much the way the calls go. They, we don't really know exactly <laughs> what it is, but it's something. Yeah, and the, the <laughs> South Southwick fans, kind of getting a little rowdy because you yeah, know, you, you gotta at this point, down four to nothing. When in doubt, never hang your head. Uh, yeah, Mason, almost called you Alec again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's as a player, as a fan, you always gotta have hope. And here comes the Hawks again. It's Harper Modesto. She tripped up a little. Gets right back on her feet almost like it never happened. <laughs> yeah, and there's the forces a corner. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be getting the close to the 60-minute mark. <laughs> Claire Kirkendall takes a swing at it. Oh, right by Glover everyone. Glover trying to keep it inbound. She does. Oh, my Ooh. It's one to f <laughs> And now uh, the captain for it's, uh, Marissa Covilio. We've heard that name a lot today. Nation. Yeah. Um, she runs into Stella Heflin, and again she'll get another swing at it. Come on, Kobe! And here she goes again, trying to get by Heflin, and doing a great job of using that sideline to her advantage. Advantage. Abby Glover takes takes the ball and gets it over to Rebecca, and now now uh, Maya Bray Motley with it for Southwick. It'll be an insert. Gets it over to Cavill. By the Roach, nope. Cavillio really taking the lead of it right now. Southwick on the attack all of a sudden. They're doing a good job of spreading out and trying to make passes and just like that, Lila Roach steals it. <laughs> I always, I seem to do that. Just janks them. It's the it's the way how, way it rolls here. On, now it's in the far corner for the Red Hawks. And Frontiers referee, uh, right now referee, Missy Mahard taking the timeout for her um, players. They're going to take a quick break. So we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Timeout, Mason. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Yes, Tom Albert and Mason Smith. 
Uh, Desmond, Mr. Murphy, the high pod, <laughs> everybody, somebody. So we're, we're winding down here at the last couple minutes. You know, um, I think some of the younger players are out there. It almost looks like a whole s set of different numbers. So I don't know if you yeah. want to mention in any of the subs. I know two's kind of new, 28, 11, 23. I don't know if you want to yeah. say their Let's names. See if I, well, I remember 20. Yeah, 23 is uh, Roan Riley. Two. Two, that's Whitney Campbell. 23. There's two 20. Uh, no, 28. 28. Uh, Abby Schreider. Schreiber. Schreiber. Abby Schreiber. Uh, and everybody uh, I, I Any other numbers standing uh, out? 18, 18, uh, Ashley Galinsky. There you go. I think that's all the new numbers. So maybe some JV players, sophomore freshmen's out there now. Yep. And now, no. and fresh legs. Honestly, you get you get a chance to go in and maybe make a chance for your team uh, right now. Giving your seniors a break for the next game too. Uh, I don't know when that will be. Probably in the next couple of days for Western Mass. Yeah. I mean, that's the way it went for um, boys soccer, who I heard won against last night. Yeah, yeah, the boys won 9-0 to zero against Renaissance. 9-0? to zero. Wow. Nine, Yeah, Renaissance showed up 30 Jeez. minutes late. Uh, <laughs> 45 minutes late, actually. And oh, I, my God. Uh, and so they didn't have it. Frontier was all warmed up, ready to go, and war had been warming up for an hour. And then the second game, Mahar beat uh, the girls' game. Mahar beat uh, Frontier two to zero. Once Kyla Ford was taken out at the end of the first half. In the second half, she wasn't there, and they were able to score two goals because of it. So oh wow! Sometimes it's like if you lose one of your your key players, your your senior and captain, it just changes the whole game oh yeah no it definitely does especially if it's your captain because that's like you know the figure that everybody kind of you know flocks to they're the leader and you know you lose your leader it's really difficult to you know coordinate yourself and figure out you know the yeah. team plan as opposed to your individual I, I, plan. I mean think about it like this what you you have your star pitcher right he's pitching on baseball or something mm -hmm. and uh he gets injured with an elbow injury or something. Tommy John, he's out for a year. Yeah. Or somebody gets a, like, Trevor Kuchis Kuchinski on Greenfield. He has uh, eight tours ACL out for the entire nice. football season, senior year, and hockey season, trying to get back for his baseball. Maybe a little hockey, who knows. But um, that's just, it's brutal, you know. Yeah. Any any injury in any sport, whether it's minor or major, you it's horrible missing any time. No, it is. And here we go. Uh, a uh, corner for Southwick. Woo, big swing and a miss. That's going to be a dangerous swing. Yeah. It's always scary to see that, Tom, because, you know, you never know. Like, with that kind of momentum, if you don't have, like, the right grip on it, too, the stick could just, you know, fly right out of your hand. And there you go. Frontier. All right, winning four to zero, right? If, if correct me if I'm wrong. And four, it's either four or three. It was four, four. All it right. was four. Because Rebecca had the first one. I don't know who had the second one. Then she may have had the third and fourth one. Remember? Yes. So. Yeah, you're right. A tough day if you're a Southwick fan, and you, it's hard to beat, especially a number one Frontiers team. Uh, you know, coming into the Hawks' house, uh, Frontier. They're going to pull off the win and go to the. Western Mass final uh, against someone to be ter determined. Um, any final thoughts, Mason? Well, this is a very, very strong team, Tom. Throughout the whole game, we saw them, you know, pushing, pushing. They didn't give up. They did even. They were leading for nothing for a decent amount of the end of this game, and they didn't stop. They didn't play differently you know they didn't play any less than the way that they played at the start of this game and that 
is the kind of commitment and energy that you want to see from a team that has potential. Yeah, you're exactly right, Mason. And uh, one thing I will say is, is Frontier was just aggressive. They they, they never oh, yeah. let up on that aggressiveness. And honestly, I think that's what's taken them this far this season and what's going to take them to the Western Mass Final. So mm -hmm. final score for the final time, 4-0. to zero. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Nathan Smith, Desmond, Mr. Murphy, and the High Point. We will see you guys next time. Goodbye.